Hello gladiators and welcome to the Coliseum. In today's match we will be continuing on Pokemon White Random as a Nuzzlocke. Last episode we caught a... We battled a bunch of trainers and we caught a wonderful shiny Pico too. It was crazy that we ran into another Pico. So we have our starter and then we have our beautiful shiny one. So I thought might as well use it. I mean sure another grass Pokemon great. But, I'm not complaining because Pokemon is a Pokemon, right? Now I'm just gonna hope I have a... I do not have a antidote, sadly. So let's see if a potion will get me back to the Pokemon Center. 25 steps. Oh yeah, we're pretty close, huh? I was gonna run all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Anyway, what we have to do today in this episode... What? Do the Pokemon not get hurt when they're poisoned? Holy crap, they don't! That's crazy! Anyway, what we're gonna do with this episode, we are gonna go save that little girl's Pokemon and Team Plasma happened to steal it from her. What assholes I know, huh? But that's what we're gonna do. So, while we train our Pokemon very, very highly. Because, uh, let's see. Pico is almost evolving, I think he has a few more levels. Jumpluff won't evolve, because that's obviously the last evolution, but she will get some good moves here soon. Um, who do we want to start out with Spore? I guess we'll start out with Spore, and we'll see what kind of Pokemon they have. I think we get into a double battle with Sharon and the other two. They ran inside here! Cece, your Pokemon HP is fine. Are you ready to go? Then let's go! Let's do it, man! Let's go kick some Plasma Bute! Cece! This bothersome bunch doesn't really listen to reason. That child cannot use a Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make a Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all your Pokemon, so hand them over to us now. Better yet, we'll just take them. Alright, I don't like their uniforms in this one. I like their uniforms in the second one. Because they're just cool. This, this, they just look funny in this one. Anyway, let's see. Team Plasma Grunt has a Patrat. I am very afraid right now. Very, very afraid. Go Spore, let's use an attack that will kick some bootalicious booty. Let's see, we have Poison Powder, Simple Assist. We'll get a Poison Powder on him. And hope for the best. He's using Bide, so good thing we used that. And you are poisoned, buddy. You are going to slowly perish away with the power of my Spore. Then so we're going to use um, some Tell Whips while his... Bide is going to be not effective to me. Because I won't attack him, not until his bite is over. Because I'm smart like that, I guess. So it's cool that I'm playing this because I'm watching Pokemon. I'm finally on season two of the Orange Islands. And it's funny how much they bring up how Pokemon and people are meant to be together. And then later on, they come out with these games where they want to take away. Um, you know, Pokemon and people. They want to liberate the Pokemon. So I just thought it was crazy that... Ow. That back then, in the first games, or the first um, two seasons so far, they always bring up how Pokemon and people are meant to be together. And then... Ooh, one hit kill. Nice. Well, not one hit, but you know. Anyway, and then on this game, they want to liberate Pokemon. It's crazy. I think they planned this, because it just sounds so accurate that they would bring it up in the move or the shows. And then now, we have this game, and I'm so distracted. Anyway, we have this game, and it is about liberating Pokemon. Anyway, let's see what this person's saying. Oh, we're getting another battle. Great. Team Plasma. I get what the Z is for, probably for the... Ooh, here's a double battle. I was waiting for this. Are you with Team Plasma Grunt and Team Plasma Grunt? They sent out a Patret and another Patret. I'm not very afraid, so I'm not really worried too much. Sharon looks like a girl from behind. And I look awesome. And he's got a Tiptig, of course. He's got my weakness. Ignore the glitchiness. I know that's terrible, and it does this whenever I do these double battles, but there's nothing I can do to fix it. Spore has a really good attack. I hadn't realized. 
I guess we'll keep going for the tackle attack because that's all we have. Uh, Sport is close to death, but after this battle we can walk around this cave. After we get the Pokemon back and do the cutscenes and stuff. But we can walk around this cave and get our very next Pokemon. I'm so excited. Let's try one more tackle. We should be able to kill Patrat. Oh, unless he uses Bide. Then that won't be very pretty. Kill him. Oh yeah, but it's the other Patrat. Tepic, you better kick his butt. Come on. Burnt. He was burnt. Yo, damn, that was perfect. That was awesome. All right, and we are almost to level 15. What did we lose? Yes, yes you did. Because we are awesome. In order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Whatever, what a waste of time. Come on, what reason could possibly just by stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean? Trainers are making Pokemon suffer. I don't get that at all. We'll give you back the Pokemon. But be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday open your eyes to your own. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's like saying dogs aren't happy with their trainers. But then again, we don't know how they feel, so... Alright, before I go back, I'm actually going to catch a Pokemon. I'm so very excited to see what we get next, and I really hope it's not going to be... Um... Some, uh, another grass Pokemon. Because, yeah. I don't need a grass Pokemon. I have three of them. <laughs> a fire Pokemon would be nice, though. Let's see. Ooh, a Dusknoir. That's awesome. Let's hope he doesn't kill us before I catch him. And I hope I have Pokeballs, because I haven't actually recorded this for a while. Using pressure. Under pressure. Let's see. Let's use... Let's use... We can't use Tackle, so we use Vine Whip. Ka-chow! Critical hit, really? Then what does a normal hit do? Ah! You suck, does nor I can to catch you. This is so awesome! My dog's over there, like, looking at me like, Shut up, Kristen. Just shut up. Alright, one more Vine Whip, and then I'll probably switch out because I don't want... Mr. Pico to die, even though I have two Picos. Oh, the Leer. Okay. We're okay. Can I throw a Pokeball at it? If we have any? We have 11, so I'll throw one, and if it doesn't work, I'll hit him one more time and I'll throw another. Come on, Dustnoy. I want to give you a nickname. I want to nickname you Awesome. That's what I want. My defense fell. I'm scared. I'm gonna switch out to Pico. Um. Mm, mistake. Because Pico, the second, probably only has a tackle attack. And that won't be very effective. So, we're gonna bring out Mistake. Use a little water gun. Just a little one, Mistake. Alright, he identified me. That is very, very frightening, actually. So, ooh, I can use that. That'll be effective. Water gun. Don't kill Dusknor. Please. He's my only hope. Oh, okay. Especially because I'm going to be battling a normal gym coming up. And he will be awesome. Because most of his other attacks will not affect me. Besides having bite, that will suck. Alright, he's going to use some leers because he doesn't want to attack me anymore. Because he's a chicken. Let's just hope I can catch him though. Because I'm sure he doesn't have a very low catch rate. It's probably pretty decently high, honestly. Too bad it's the last evolution, though. I mean, it sucks when they do that to me. Anyway, we got three shakes and some stars. We have just caught a our fifth Pokemon. It's Dusknoir. Awesome. It is said to take the take lost spirits into its plant body and guide them home. The Griper Gripper Pokemon. Hmm. How about we name him Spirit? He's the Spirit of the Wind. And because I couldn't think of anything else. Spurt. Spirit. Is that how you spell it? Spirit. Spurt. Okay, well, it's Spurt or Spirit, whichever one it suits better. Oh, and we ran into another Pokemon. What did we run into? Oh, a Miloda? Is that her name? Oh, Meloetta. Sweet baby Jesus, you're going down. I want to get your experience -ness. Oh, no, I don't. 
Hi, kid. Aw, oh, you son of a gun. Ooh. That was so close. That was closer than it needed to be. Close, oh my gosh. We're definitely going to the Pokemon Center. Route 3. No! Cece, thank you so much! The two of you got her Pokemon back! I'm lucky to have friends like you two. Thank you, miss! Please take these as a thank you present! Heal balls! Ooh, those are heal balls! They completely heal the captured Pokemon on the spot! How sweet of you! I'm gonna see this girl on her way. So see you later, Cece! Bye! Alright, so we got some heal balls, man. That's sweet. So let's go heal our Pokemon. And we will go down to this down part of the place so we can run into the next city. Thank you for healing my Pokemons. I'm not going to do any grinding yet, but I probably will once I get to the bottom of this place. Once I get to the bottom of this, it would have. It, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Now I get to show off everything I learned in trainer school. Alright, show me what you got, buddy. Show me. I dare you. He's got a Blitzel. And he knows a fire attack, so I'm gonna switch to mistake. No, I'm not, because that's a terrible idea. We're gonna see what Spurt has to do. I totally spelled that wrong, didn't I? Spear hit. Oh, I missed an E. Shockwave, let's see. That was pretty effective. Let's see, we got Disable and Nightshade. We'll use that. Don't kill my Dusknor yet. I just got him. And he looks so awesome. Nightshade was effective. Let's use another one. Because he used Charge. Awesome. You know, I never knew what that move did. Began charging power. It probably. Oh, special defense rose. Dang it. Come on, Spurt. <laughs> That's terrible. I can't believe I spelled that wrong. He's gonna kill the heck out of me, isn't he? He's gonna one-hit kill me. Charge. Alright, I think we got this. As long as we don't miss, we have to defeat Blitzel. And this is Spurt's very first adventure battle. Die, mother... Yeah! 102 and Pico gained some experience. Thank you, kid, for giving me so much. I wish I would've just battled with one of them. There's a Pokeball in the grass, but of course I'm gonna run back and heal my Pokemon because... I can. And because we don't want nobody dying because this happens to be a Nuzlocke and Nuzlocke's are very bad when you come to death. Run down. So how are you guys today, huh? How is life treating you? How is Pokemon treating you? Oh my gosh! I am so excited for freaking X and Y- what? It's pretty! Holy shit! That is the most beautiful bird I have ever seen! Holy crap! I can't battle it though. Oh, that is beautiful. That is awesome. Why couldn't I have got a Pidgey? That's freaking sweet! Anyway, like I was saying, I am so excited for Pokemon X and Y. What about you guys? I mean, seeing all those trailers and crap, they look so so awesome, the sky battles and the new Pokemon. Um, I hope they don't ruin the evolutions of of the beginner Pokemon, because I do like the starter Pokemon on that, that game, actually. Well, I like Finnekin. He's cool. I don't really like the frog. And then the uh, chest spin's okay. But, I mean, it looks so cool. If you haven't seen any of the trailers, I think they have like five trailers out now. If you haven't seen any of them, go check them out. They are the most awesomest freaking things in the world. Okay, we're gonna switch with mistake. I could just, I just couldn't believe how cool. And then like when you walk around, the graphics are awesome. I like the rendering and I like how they. Ooh. Oops, wrong attack. Don't kill mistake. He's my only hope. Ooh, that was super effective. That means spirit will kill him. But I mean that really, it was seriously awesome. Just go check it out. They're also coming out with Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. I don't have a Wii U yet. I will get one though, and I will get Super Smash Bros. I'll get the new Legend of Zelda, and I'll get Super Mario Bros. Oh, I'm so excited. 
It wasn't super effective, but Lick was. That was ah, don't kill me! Shit. That was close. Okay, I gotta run away again. Holy crap, this is terrible. I love how the, the uh, icons for the Pokemon, they're, they're, what are those called? I forgot what they're called, but the icons aren't shiny. Uh, we have Tackle over here. That's right. Sport is awesome. You know that? Alright, well, everybody got a little bit of experience. That's right. Anyways, you guys let me know what starter Pokemon you're gonna get in Pokemon X and or Y. I mean, I already know you're gonna pre-order it. You have to pre-order it because it looks so friggin' awesome. There is no way anybody's not gonna pre-order this game. Besides the haters out there who are like, Oh, the original Pokemon's better, blah blah blah. If you're such a Pokemon fan, you'll accept what Pokemon has to offer. I mean, come on. Don't you get tired of whining about it all the time? Anyway, I think it's awesome. Yes. Alright, so we beat two trainers. There should be another one up here somewhere. Ooh, pretty. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. It's... Oh, it's pretty, but it's ugly at the same time. I think I can beat it because it's, it's a water, right? Vine whip. Go! Death is almost effective. I think the sky battles are probably so far the coolest for me. I'm um, just seeing that there's a different battle style that they're trying out. It's awesome. They're just getting that much closer to making like a Pokemon for the consoles. I know it. They have to. That's what I'm excited about most. If they need to make a console Pokemon like Pokemon XD and Pokemon Coliseum. Except they don't need a half asset. They need to actually make it um, just like the handhelds, honestly. Well, I would like that. I don't know about anybody else, but all they care about is their money. And it's like... Um... It's your fans who are keeping you going, and if you're not going to create games that make us happy, you're not going to get none of that money. That's what I think anyway. What? How come the other one died, but this one did? I must have got a critical. Is that what I, I just want this Pokeball. What is this? I'm being, like, bombarded by these guys. Go away. Wow, really? Every freaking step? Ooh, that's awesome. It's a Nidorina. I think that's the girl one, isn't she supposed to be blue and no, she's pink? And does that mean the pink one is blue? That's awesome. Alright, I think I run into so many Pokemon because they're random and they each have random step rates and all that stuff. It's best to use what you have learned in order to master it. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. I guess so. Maybe. School kid Gina sent out a Petra. I hate Petra. Go away. Alright, I'm trying to get some, uh, Pico to evolve. Don't use my Because I think he evolves at 15? Or 16? I'm not actually sure. Ah, uh, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? Crap. Gross. Don't die, fat herd. No, Pico! I didn't mean to kill you! Really? Really? Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? That was an idiot! That was an idiotic move right there. My god. I should have knew that he would have killed me. Son of a gun. I should have switched out with Pico of a second. Hmm. Dang it. Well, this sucks. I guess we just lost a buddy. Trap must protect? Oh, see, I hate these guys. They always troll me. They just freaking kill me. And I think the next gym leader has a freaking watch hog or whatever. It's gonna kill me. Come on, mistake. Just kill it. Show him who's boss. We're not gonna deal with this crap. Alright, learned 171. I hope that in the new Pokemon X and Y, though, they have um, more than just like three beginning Pokemon. Like, not starters, but like in this one you have Patrat, you have Purloin, and you have um, the bird, Padove, but we haven't seen him yet. And we have Blitzel. That's like the only first Pokemon on this one. 
So I hope that they have more to start with, I guess you could say. A lot of the Pokemon look cool, like the f um, the Firebird evolution. Hey! Hey! I'm not losing Mistake too. Fudge. I know I can't use Spirit, so I'll use Spore. Crap! A trainer is poning me! That's terrible! I mean, I lost Pico! What? Assist? What does that mean? Quit it! You're an ass! Go, Spore! You show them what you got! Show them what you're made of! He has a really high attack. I like it. I'm gonna high health, too. Herloin has fainted and we grew to level 15. Great. Now I have to go and put him in the PC, huh? Son of a biscuit. Let's see, we got an awakening. I don't... I think we have to battle our rival up here, don't we? That's right. Screw you, buddy. Let's see, we ran into a Lupini and he's pink. That's cool. Go in, Lupini. I don't want to battle you. Oh, I'm so glad I got away from that. I don't know if my tr my rival battles me, but I'm scared. Let's just use a potion. I just tried to scroll down on my options menu. Yeah. Because that's totally going to work, Crystal. Pico! <laughs> that is so sad. Okay, let's see what, what happens when we go in, and then I'll end the episode because it's already getting way too long to be good. I think we have to battle him. Come with me a sec. Okay. If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center. And use these if you want. Chesto berries! Why, thank you. Give your Pokemon a Chesto berry to hold. Then, if it ever falls asleep, it'll wake up immediately. Oh! Another piece of advice. Not great Sagen uses normal types. If you have a fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Let's hope we can catch one of those. I'm not positive if we'll be able to. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end it here, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Happy birthday. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'll see you next episode. Goodbye!